In the early 1900s, in the Kentucky Hills, there was a small child being prepared for burial. A sickness had swept through the mountains, and folks was perishing at a high rate, especially children and old folks. The child's mother and father had exhausted all methods in hopes to pull their small son through. They had him laid out in the living room, and friends and neighbors and family was all in and out to pay their respects. Their old home sat on the edge of an old mountain road. And this road was used by many as a means to get from one holler to another. The boy's uncles was out front finishing building his coffin when this little granny woman came through. She politely asked for a sip of water from the well. And the boy's father said, Why, yes, ma'am, have a chair. I'll draw you a fresh bucket. She steps up on the porch, leans her old walking stick against the wall, and removes her black bonnet. As the father brings the bucket of water and sets it down, he slowly hands her a gourd dipper. And after she drinks her fill, she puts her bonnet back on. She stands up and politely asks for a little pipe tobacco. She says, I've been over in the next taller midwife and, and I've run short in smoke. As one of the uncles shares his pipe tobacco, she asked, Who have y'all lost? The mother sadly says, Her small son. The old woman replied, I am so sorry. Would you mind if I pay my respects to the party? mother leads the woman inside and they're standing there as the old woman starts putting hands on the child who's laying there stretched out on a plank of wood she rubs him she gently strokes his hair and that's when she runs a hand up the sleeve of his shirt and she says quick this child is alive hey you men some of you Put him on the bed, quick. I found a warm spot in the pit of his arm. Hurry, woman, build a fire, she demanded. She worked, and she worked, and she rubbed. She put hot fabrics, warm water, she massaged, and she got this child's temperature up. The parents, they were shocked, didn't know how to act, but they did as this old granny woman said. Yes, she was for sure a granny woman. She went to the woods. She come back with roots, herbs, and she boiled, and she mixed, and she stirred, and she cooked, and she boiled till she come up with some sort of elixir. And she would drop this elixir on the child's tongue. The next morning, the boy opened his eyes. His parents, they just couldn't believe it. The old granny woman, she stayed on for several days, a doctor and a nurse in this child. And she nursed him back to he was his normal self, healthy. He completely, over time, was a healthy, normal boy. And he grew up to have a family of his own. And he lived to be an old man. This old woman, this old granny woman, saved his life. She saved him from certain death. She saved him from a horrible death of being buried alive. Was it by chance she happened upon him that day? Personally, I believe the Lord sent this woman. And I think the granny women of these mountains like her deserves more recognition for their knowledge of healing, their willingness to help, and for giving the Lord all the credit.